Hello everybody, my name is Aideen Gallagher and I am the founder of Risk Managed and what we do at Risk Managed is we teach health professionals how to keep caregivers injury free when assisting people with disabilities, get out of bed in the morning, have a shower and get into their wheelchair. I'm the author of The Manual Handling Revolution and one question I get asked um, quite a lot is why did I feel the need to write this book for health professionals. Um, I have been teaching health professionals for the last 10 years and I found from that teaching there's three common problems that health professionals come to me to when they come to my workshops um, in terms of um, addressing manual handling problems in their workplace. First of all is knowledge. Um, as health professionals, when we leave university, we get the badge as expert in manual handling. So for an occupational therapist or physiotherapist, but we get very little training on it. I used to lecture on the undergraduate program and I had the opportunity of spending two hours with the health professionals on that course in relation to this topic area. Why does that happen? Because the undergraduate programs, <coughs> excuse me, don't have enough time to deal with everything that a health professional needs to know to be able to do their job. I, we have the um, uh, benefit in manual handling to have some great equipment, or sorry, um, research done in manual handling. And the second thing in terms of that knowledge is um, from my masters in. Um, occupational health and safety as well as being an academic as well myself I learned how to apply that research to practice so what I wanted to bring in this book is a template for health professionals and how to start doing that and fast track that so you don't have to get that 10 years experience that I had secondly that people come to the workshops um, with is problems with a lack of systems in addressing manual handling problems. So health professionals don't have a system sometimes for um, identifying a problem and then having a plan for what to do about it. This is leading to an awful lot of anxiety where health professionals don't know how to justify decisions they make. They're afraid of decisions they make and sometimes some health professionals have um, admitted to me that they avoid the manual handling problems because it's just way too difficult and they just feel really anxious about it. The third thing um, problem that I see is we have some great equipment solutions available to us as health professionals. We get great, great training in um, the prescription of wheelchairs and other assistive devices, but we don't get any training in how to prescribe manual handling equipment. I think we're missing opportunities in that to eliminate manual handling and take some really simple opportunities to make things easier for everybody. Secondly, some of the, some of the uh, missed opportunities we have is that there's some great equipment out there. It's getting left on the shelves because um, health professionals don't have the skills to know whether it's a good piece or not. And thirdly, what's happening in the equipment space is that we're recommending too many caregivers by not realising that equipment can do an awful lot more to reduce the manual handling risk than we are taking advantage of. So there were the three reasons why I wanted to write this book, to be able to give health professionals this knowledge to be able to start dealing with these manual handling problems. Really excited that the book launch is happening on the 25th of October this month, this month, so in a couple of weeks time. And we have a few spaces available, so if you're interested in coming, just get your ticket now um, so that you can get a space. Really excited to have Martina Tierney speak at it as well. She's the founder of Seating Matters and um, she's going to talk about her entrepreneurial journey as an occupational therapist. So thank you for listening everyone and until next time.